Madam Speaker, I seek unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, you are not God. Your will does not bend the forest or shake the mountains. And let me assure you, your will does not bow the knee of millions of my countrymen who refuse to heed your callous command. To threaten arrest on others for their own personal medical decisions is nothing short of a medical apartheid, and I will not let it stand. For if I am to cowardly bend the knee here like those on the left wish, then what is to stop you all from taking your tyranny to the rest of this country that I love? How dare anyone in this institution attempt to dictate to the patriots of my staff how they may live their lives? For one to think that because they have the title honorable attached to their name means that they may dictate what others may say and think repulses me. What makes this nation special is that in this free land, the people are the royalty. So arrest us if you will, but I will not cower and I will not bend. Madam Speaker, you have come to take away our liberties. But Madam Speaker, in this country, you are outnumbered. With that. All right. <clears throat> Salakia, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, okay, and double honors to the elders and apostles and great millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Okay, daily. Beautiful thing. And a healthy shallow womb to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's the brother Gabar Adama coming back at you with uh, a lesson that uh, was inspired by a brother named uh, Solo. What is it called? Solakia. He just he just texted me. He's a solo Soldier 144. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna share his video because it was absolutely it was absolutely excellent. Okay, and this video is gonna be uh, entitled uh, "A House Divided Cannot Stand." Okay, so let's get after it. It's a lucky uh, <coughs> for my voice, man. This I don't know what Esau Edom's doing with the air and food and water, but uh, he's got me all kinds of stopped up. All right. This is uh, 2 Peter 1 and verse 2. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. See? Okay? All right? Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Mark 3 and verse 23. And he, uh, he called... Salakia, and he called them unto him and say unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? You see that? How can Satan cast out Satan, man? And, you know, in this house, this uh, this so-called house, you know, which is uh, uh, the U.S. of A, Babylon, is divided, man. It's super divided. And I'm going to show you a series of clips, uh, you know, that the brother Solar, uh, Solo Soldier 144 had put together and, 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 and you know, it was, it was a great video Man, but this place is divided, man Okay? Satan cast out Satan And if a kingdom be divided against itself The kingdom cannot stand See that? It cannot stand, man And my phone chimed <laughs> Alright? And if a house be divided against itself That house cannot stand And if Satan rise up against himself and, uh, and be divided, he cannot stand, but have an end, okay? You see what the scripture just said? It says Satan against himself. See that? And we, uh, we, are all, we all know that Esau Edom is the damn devil the Bible speaks of, man. <laughs> you know, it's right there. <coughs> Salakia. <clears throat> okay, I got to read that again because that rolled off my tongue just right. If a house be divided against it uh, against itself, that house cannot stand. If Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand. But had it, but hath an end. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. All right. Let's see oh, if I want any more. No, I'm good with that. All right. <clears throat> let's keep moving on. Second Ezra 15 and verse 16. For there shall be sedition 
among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see? And this is this is happening already, man. All right. And it's going to keep on happening. It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. You see, we are to put our faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay. The hopeful elect, man. That he is the one who gathers us together. He is the one who uh, who saves us out of, uh, out of tribulation, man. You see. All right. While the rest of these people are going through all kinds of hell. You know, hey, hey, we, hey, don't get me wrong. We're going through hell too, man. You know, this this year, this year for me has probably been the best and the worst year, you know, in my life. The best being uh, seeing as Yahweh Bashem Yahshai has given me understanding, you know, and let me know that everything's going to be all right, man, because the just shall live by faith, man. See, everything's going to be all right. Why everybody's walking around or running around like a chicken with their head cuts, cut off. You know, and if you've ever seen that, it's a it's <laughs> it's a very visual thing, <laughs> you know, but everybody's walking around like a chicken with their head cut off, man. Worried about this. Worried about that in this world. Yeah, how about Shimyal Shai has got us. He's got us. OK, so I'm going to read this again. Second Ezra 15 and verse 16. All right. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. You see? The course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of the pride of the cities, of the cities shall be troubled. You see that? Because of their pride. <laughs> Again. I'm proud to be an American. See? It's the, they've got so much pride, man. And over what? This, this place is it's a shithole country, man. You know? Okay? <clears throat> and uh, a man shall desire to go into a city and, sh and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, <clears throat> but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread <clears throat> and for great tribulation, men. And what the scriptures say, they shall, uh, th they shall be saved out of tribulation. That means we got to be in the midst of something, men. Okay. And then and what does that word mist mean? What does that what does that mean? I've got it pulled up here somewhere, I think. Yeah, it's right here. <clears throat> Salakia. Midst. Mist. Okay. The middle point or part. All right. I mean, that's a simple one. All right. In the midst, because so that means we need we gotta be in the middle of something. Right? We gotta be in the middle of something here. A man shall desire, uh, shall have no pity, Salakia. A man shall, uh, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. Okay? All right? Yeah, so this house, uh, you know, the meat of that, what I wanted to get out of that, was well, several different things, but this house is, this house, this city, this place is divided, man. Okay? It's it's completely divided, man. And this is this is uh it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's a beautiful thing. Yahab Bashim Shai is doing a great work on this place, man. And it's gonna do nothing but get worse and wor it's gonna wax worse and worse and worse. All right? Which is which is good. It's 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 uh it's prophecy. All right. You know? Job thirteen and verse four. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value okay they are physicians of no value verse five. Oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace and it shall be your wisdom see that see these physicians of no value should hold their peace and that would be their wisdom in other words shut up and be quiet but they're not going to do that <coughs> salakia 
Uh, let's see. Where did I want to go? I wanted to go down to 9, verse 9. It is good that he should search you out. Okay? See that? It is good that he shall search you out. Or, or as one man mocketh another, do ye mock him? He will surely reprove you. Okay? If ye do secretly accept persons. Verse 11. Shall not his excellency make you afraid and his dread fall upon you? You see, this is going to happen. Remember, <clears throat> Salakia, verse 12, your remembrance are like unto ashes. Your bodies to bodies of clay. See, have not the potter have power over the clay? You see what the scripture says? This is why these are parables, man. All right. Your bodies are like clay because he molds you and he does he does what he wants to do. This is his movie. Okay? That's why I always say you can't put your how about shimmy out shy in a box, man. Your arms are too short to box with God. You know? That's a, uh, that's a saying that mostly Jake says, man. All right? Your remembrance are like unto ashes. Stubble. And his dread, uh, uh, Salakia, your, and uh, your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace. Let me alone that I may speak and let uh, and let come on uh, and let come on me what will. See. All right. All right. So, yeah, that, I think that's what I wanted. It. Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go. Yeah. Verse 16. Let's uh, jump down to 16. He uh, he uh, also shall be my salvation for an a hypocrite shall not come before shall not come before him man right so they are physicians of no value man hypocrites <clears throat> uh, that really their, their, their mouth need to be stopped okay we need a savior man we need to get the hell up out of here and lord willing soon okay let's move on to Ephesians 5 and verse 6. Okay? Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. You see? All right? And the children of disobedience. Who is that? That's the Israelites, man. All right? Because that's, that's all we've done is uh, disobey Yahweh Shimei Shai, And that's why he put us under subjection under the under the uh, 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 the damn base man on, on the planet, man. OK, be ye not. <clears throat> so lucky, be not ye, therefore partakers with them. See, for ye, uh, for uh, ye were sometimes darkness. But uh, but now ye. Now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. See? Verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. All right? Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. <coughs> and the scripture said, this is... Uh, 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 make your bodies a living sacrifice. This is an acceptable work. Okay? Verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. See? Rebuke, reprove. Verse 12. For it is a shame even to speak of uh, uh, those things which are done of them in secret. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh boy, man! Uh, I, I'll leave that one alone. I, I'm gonna read it again anyway. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Let your light shine, brothers. Okay, thirteen. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doth make it manifest is light. 14, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and, uh, and arise from the dead. And uh, Yahweh 
shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Okay? That's beautiful, man. All right? 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. <clears throat> these people are, these people are Satan, man. They're the damn devil the Bible speaks of, man. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You see, if he could fool the, the very elect, he would. But the fact that he can't fool the very elect is a beautiful thing. So it's a water to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Wa a ba ba ba. Boom. Shalom. Many of you have gotten a COVID vaccine. These are four healthcare workers from different hospitals in North Carolina. Why not? We don't know what the long-term side effects are. It also hasn't been proven to be effective. The CDC and many public health experts say that it's more than 90% effective. They do say that. <laughs> that hasn't proven to me to be true. I'm not going to just jump on a bandwagon with something that has not been tested. When you say that it hasn't been tested, it has been tested though. But not to the, if you look at the normal, the normal year span of how long something is tested, it's usually 12 to 14 years before it comes to humans. Across the country, about one in four healthcare workers still isn't vaccinated against COVID. <laughs> and from North Carolina to Texas to New York, anti-mandate protests are mounting. I don't trust it right now. So is the pushback. This is in the category of give me a bleeping break. Uh, when did everyone get a medical degree? For weeks, we've spoken with many overworked healthcare workers who practically begged Americans to get the shot. What do you tell people who just <laughs> don't believe you? It's frustrating. Not these. They say they're not anti-vax, more anti-mandate. And I'm not comfortable putting something into my body until I am ready. If and when I'm ready to get the vaccine, I will get it on my own accord. I won't be forced. You just don't trust the CDC. I do not trust the CDC. Absolutely not. And that fuels their skepticism. I have the right to question anybody in this country. I want to question. Mm -hmm. You're entitled to own opinion, but these are facts. Are they, though? Mm -hmm. Are they facts? They're The renewed battle over mask mandates is fueling more division on Capitol Hill, as if that were possible. With a group of House Republicans and their staffers marching maskless to the Senate floor yesterday, refusing to comply with a new rule requiring that everyone wear masks in the lower chamber. Texas Congressman Chip Roy was among the protesters. He joins us now. So what's it like there today? Hey, Dana, how are you? Great to be on the show. Um, hey, look, I mean, we're uh, here doing our job. Uh, we're trying to send a signal to the American people that they don't need to be running around in fear. Uh, we're able to make up our own minds, our own decisions. I mean, look, Dana, I'm, I am pro-vaccine. My father had polio. Uh, he's a polio mm -hmm. survivor. Um, I believe in vaccines, and I believe, but I also believe in healthcare freedom. You know, uh, when I've gone in to meet with people who are vulnerable, gone to nursing homes, met with you know veterans, you know, I've masked up. But at the, but but at the bottom line is, we've got the power of of the Speaker of the House being used to say they're going to arrest staffers, arrest the people who work for us because they're exercising their judgment, mm -hmm. which the you know powers that be have been saying that if you get vaccinated, you're all safe. And uh, my staff, they're saying, oh, you've got to come in here, you've got to follow these orders or we're going to arrest you. I've got a real problem with that. And we're sending a signal to the American people that they should be in fear. And the American people want to go back to work. They want their kids back in school. And they want to be able to make decisions for their own well-being and not have the federal government step in and tell them what they have to do. That's not American. I hear you on that. I just want to point out that Speaker Pelosi's spokesperson, Drew Hamill, uh, told Fox News here uh, that, that the Speaker of the House does not control the U.S. Capitol Police and we were unaware of the memo until it was reported in the press. So we'll say hopefully nobody's going to get arrested. Um, yeah, but, but Dana, but that's Dana, that's absurd, though. Like we met with the Capitol attending physician the other day and he put out, uh, you know, in his orders talking about what we should do with masks. He put out information out there saying that we have to be masked up. We know that Speaker Pelosi is in communication with him. In fact, he sent the memo to them to start with. So when she says Capitol Police, they are, they're doing that on their own. Capitol Police doesn't want to arrest anybody. But then you have Capitol Police put out a memo yesterday clarifying 
And what they said was, well, sorry, you're still going to have to follow the orders of police to put your mask on when you come in. Look, that's, that's what the American people don't want to see anymore, is this kind of tyrannical behavior by the people who are running our institutions. We have a duty to lead. And leading isn't having us on the floor of the House of Representatives masked up while we've got data that doesn't even back it up. Well, I Do you know how you, many, how you, many you, you deaths there have been? Yeah, you make a good point when you said we've got a crisis at the border. We're playing footsie with mask mandates in the people's house. Um, I, I, I help us understand as to why m migrants can walk across the border and we don't know if they're COVID-19 or not. Are they, are, well, they, a, are they getting appropriately tested now? Well, they're not. This is a great point, Bill, and I appreciate it. You know, here in D.C., when they're now going back to masks, when they lifted the mask mandate, there was only 90 people in the hospital. Today, there's 27, right? That's, I mean, that's what they're doing. We've had two deaths in the last two weeks. There's been more murders in D.C. Meanwhile, on our border, in La Jolla, Texas, we have hundreds of people being put into a hotel in La Jolla by Catholic charities who... We